Hello Internet, uh, another uh, disassembly video. This time, as you can see, is another uh, Sapphire product. Um, this is the R9280X Toxic Edition uh, with the uh, really renowned uh, branding and the special uh, color scheme by Sapphire. Um, I bought this uh, just for benchmarking purposes uh, a few months ago. Uh, for its time, a pretty uh, nice uh, site, pretty capable GPU uh, for 1080p gaming uh, back in the day. Uh, still is, but you know, while it, uh, titles advance, not as much. So, uh, first glance, pretty nice backplate. Uh, gonna see what's going on behind this uh, at some point. It has some uh, LEDs uh, here, I think, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, the LEDs uh, here um, correspond to the temperature of the card. Um, a bit of uh, LED uh, logo here. As you can see, the uh, plastic has bent <laughs> over time. Two 8 pins, pretty GPU, uh, pretty uh, power demanding uh, GPU. Uh, the UFI uh, switch here, um, pretty beefy cooler, uh, if you imagine this is from 2014, uh, again two uh, distinct uh, uh, coolers, one central uh, in the middle with a toxic uh, logo. Um, these are removable uh, that you have to remove uh, the shroud in order to replace them if you need to replace them. And on the other side, as you can see, there's nothing uh, special. Um, so yeah, as as for uh, input output, uh, two mini uh, display ports, one HDMI, uh, <laughs> one of the older uh, VGAs and DVI. Focus, yeah. So one DVI uh, D, one DVI I, and that's it. So, in order to uh, disassemble, we'll start off with the four uh, screws here. And from what I can tell, there's also two screws uh, on uh, on the I/O plate, which I'll show you. Uh, so I've already opened this card uh, just to replace the uh, paste uh, and to see some um, so there you need to remove these two uh, screws here as well uh, so as I said I uh, opened this card already because uh, uh, I haven't been able to I wanted to, to test it uh, before and after uh, repasting uh, but I didn't saw <laughs> any uh, differences in temperature <laughs> for some reason. Uh, so I just want to open this again uh, to see uh, if the uh, spread on the um, if the spread on the paste on the GPU is uh, adequate. And also I'm gonna take this back plate uh, to see if it really touches anything because um, uh, the use of the back plate uh, has um, a reasoning of that back uh, the back plate uh, supports the PCB so it does not bend which in this instance it has actually um, and also to dissipate heat uh, these companies sometimes they do include pads uh, to touch on components um, uh, to dissipate the heat from the PCB to the back plate to the environment uh, so i don't know if there are any pads underneath as you can see the um uh, black diamond chokes from uh, sapphire uh, they're protruding from the one side to the pcb to the other i'll show you after disassembly uh but uh yeah i this, despite that i used my uh, mx4 thermal compound but there was no change in temperature at all, which is a bit um, uh, uh, 
a bit weird, but yeah. Anyways, and a bit of uh, surface tension, and it's off. So, uh, spread looks okay. Hmm. It's uh, disappointing. Anyways, so the spread is okay. Uh, as you can see, the uh, uh, the VRM is under here. Uh, for some reason, this card has uh, some of the thickest pads for sapphire cards that I've ever seen. These are two millimeter thick pads. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. Yeah, this is a two millimeter thick pad on the uh, GGDR5 uh, memory, which I don't have two millimeters, uh, so <laughs> I'll leave them on. Uh, VRM has a... Uh, distinct uh, separate uh, heat spreader as you can see here um, otherwise nothing special again uh, a separate uh, uh, for the memory controller I would say the uh, paste seems uh, to do is uh, it's pretty sp even spread I don't know why there's no uh, there's no difference in uh, temperatures at all um so let's see what's going on with the back plate if there's anything there so the back the, the back plate is holding on to the pcb by uh, small screws i'm going to remove all of them and uh, we can see what's going on at the back Kind of unique feature uh, to this card is it has a three pin fan connector here, uh, which is pretty unique for cards uh, so old. So maybe this is one of the first instances uh, for that. Um, but uh, yeah, you could you can connect a three pin uh, uh, fan and attach to it. I don't know how you can control it. Maybe it will run at full power. Hopefully not. But uh, yeah. So that should... Oh, it attaches to the VRM. So the backplate is holding on into the VRM heat sinks as well. As I hear. As I see here. Not going to move the, um, uh, the VRM heat sinks. Uh, there's nothing underneath. The pads are fine. I checked them, uh, but yeah. Anyways, let's see if this comes off now. Maybe. Hopefully. I think I removed all the screws. Yeah. It's just maybe surface tension holding this together. Yeah. Is it holding on? It's holding on to the uh, AI. Okay, that's interesting. It was. It's holding on to the AI. Uh, plate as well. Is there a second screw? No? Or maybe no. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Let's come off. Indeed. Right. So, oh. so indeed, uh, there is a small, seems like one and a half millimeter pad here touching at the back side uh, of uh, the VRMs here to dissipate whatever. It's not exactly VRMs. Uh, it could be VRMs, but if it could be controllers, I don't know. Um, but this is uh, multi-ceramic uh, resistances. But anyways, 
so besides this uh, small pad, the rest of uh, the backplate does not uh, uh, have any other contacts, as you can see. Um, so, yeah. Mm. Still wondering why the temperatures are not uh, better. Maybe it's the inadequate cooler, I don't know. Um, anyways, um, I thought since I'm going to reopen the card, uh, it's going to be another uh, good short video. Uh, just for uh, people who actually own this card until uh, today and use it. Uh, what's going on underneath? Um, these heat sinks here and the small one here, uh, they uh, besides the two screws holding them together, they're only adhesed by the uh, pads underneath. So it's going to take some effort to remove them uh, because of the surface tension. Because, uh, again, for some reason, Sapphire is using more thicker pads uh, than usual. But it could be to the uh, older design as well. So again, this is, I'm pretty sure this is uh, two millimeter thick pad. I'll, let me bring the caliper and check it real quick. Right, so, <laughs> sorry about that, I misplaced the calipers, uh, so, uh, oh, damn, this seems like two, seems like thicker, let's Remove it completely because see this seems thicker than two millimeters. Oh. Mm, no. It's around two millimeters. Yeah, it's a, this is a two millimeter uh, thick pad. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so pretty thick uh, pads uh, here on, on the memory. And um, uh, the uh, pads underneath the VRMs, they're uh, a millimeter uh, thick. Uh, but yeah, I, anyways, I'll, um, reassemble the card, um, and run the tests again, but, uh, it seems like it's, uh, reaching, uh, max temperature, I think it was around 60, 68, 68 degrees, uh, which is not a lot, uh, but I would like the noise, um, uh, to go down. Uh, more so I'm guessing it has to do with the uh, cooling capabilities of the fans uh, in general because uh, everything looks fine here so I'm guessing uh, the fans are not pushing enough um, air through um, 
it's it's not the temperature as i said uh, 68 for a graphics card even that old and especially 280x uh, is uh, adequate should be fine uh, but it's more noise that i would like uh, but yeah anyways that's just me right nice uh, short little video uh, uh, I did promise in my last video to do a um, uh, a troubleshooting of dead uh, cards. I have actually a couple of dead cards uh, here. Uh, a uh, what is it? Uh, uh, it's a, another 290X with a water block uh, fitted on it, and uh, what's the other one? Uh, can't remember. Anyways, I have a couple of dead cards. I said I'm going to uh, try to put finally troubleshooting um, uh, a video together. Uh, so maybe I can figure out what is uh, uh, wrong with these uh, two cards that I have. Unfortunately, uh, real life and some other uh, stuff is uh, hindering me of uh, putting this video together. I have everything ready. Um, and I did my research, but uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them below. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it for now. Bye.